um, science fiction. You know, it's like very futuristic, like real objects connecting to like together to a blockchain and tracking all these things real time. Um, for this panel, looking at what is the next step to, to, to bring blockchain to the next uh, billion, what, what are kind of the, the things that can happen kind of next year that like the use cases that are, that are probably going to be live like in, I don't know, a um, couple of, like few months on, on Polkadot that you think can, can you so, know, scale to the masses, I guess. So I, I, have, I have one that we've been, we've been noodling around with, no, no pun intended. So I mentioned before, right, what you can use, uh, any, anybody with a smartphone can use, can use a smartphone to mine our coin. Um, we, we can take that a step further where anybody can go out and buy, you know, we'll, a little weather sensor, right? Again, the prices of these are very, very cheap. Um, you can go out and deploy millions of little temperature humidity gauges. And then through that build, what would be the, you know, this massive global micro level granular weather network. Um, and I think the, the interesting thing about this is one, you can sort of, it would all communicate over nodal, but then what we would want to do is work with Akala and others to uh, factionalize ownership of that, right? And so you have a distributed, it's DeFi, everybody could own a piece of that or could own their own little local weather station. Uh, and I mean, this is, you know, $5, right, for one of these things. And then we would have this huge weather network, which we can then use for, you know, it can be used for commercial purposes because everybody likes to know what the weather is going to be on the other side of town. But it's also, I think, important for, you know, things like, uh, you know, global warming, and environmental, and monitoring environmental conditions, right? And all of that is, I mean, I could, I could think of a way to construct that in today's telecom world, and it would be billions of dollars. And it would have to be, like, governments involved building it, very centralized. I think, you know, Nodal, which is 50 people on Akala, and a couple other people could put that together fairly quickly uh, for, you know, and, and it would be owned by everybody. And it would transform, just as another example, transform climate insurance and crop insurance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 